an equilateral triangular shaped glass block has a refractive index of 1.65. A ray of light is incident at 50 degrees to the normal. Continue the ray of light through the glass block. Without any calculation, we expect the ray of light will bend towards the normal on entering the glass and bend away from the normal upon exit. What physics do we know? We know Snell's law. N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2, where N, the refractive index, is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to that in the material. How to solve the problem? Write down the things you know and the things you don't know. I'm going to have air as material 1 and glass as material 2. N1 equals 1.00, theta 1 equals 50 degrees. N2 equals 1.65, theta 2 equals question mark. Write down the equation we will use, Snell's law, N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. Rearrange the equation to get sine theta 2 equals N1 divided by N2 times sine theta 1. Substitute in the values. Remember to have your calculator in degrees, not radians. The answer is 27.7 degrees or 28 degrees to the nearest whole number. Now draw in the refracted ray. Use a protractor to draw the refracted ray at 27.7 degrees to the normal. Continue the ray through the glass until it hits the boundary. Draw a normal line where the ray hits the glass air boundary. Find the incident angle at the boundary. We now have to determine the incident angle of the ray at the glass air boundary. To do this, we shall use the triangle formed by the refracted ray and the apex of the triangle. We know that the refracted angle is 27.7 degrees, so the internal angle is 90 minus 27.7 or 62.3 degrees. Therefore, the missing angle is 180 minus 60 minus 62.3 degrees, which equals 57.7 degrees. Hence, the incident angle measured from the normal line at the glass air boundary is 90 minus 57.7 equals 32.3 degrees. Determine the refracted angle at the new boundary. Write down the things you know and the things you don't know. At this boundary, I'm going to call glass material 3 and air material 4. So we have N3 equals 1.65, theta 3 equals 32.3 degrees, N4 equals 1, theta 4 equals question mark. Write down the equation we will use. Snell's law, N3 sine theta 3 equals N4 sine theta 4. Sine theta 4 equals N3 divided by N4 times sine theta 3. Substitute in the values. The answer is 61.8 or 62 degrees to the nearest whole number. Finally, draw the exit ray. And there we have it. The path of a ray of light through an equilateral triangular shaped glass block when entering at 50 degrees to the normal.